Lake Michigan, a favorite spot for Chicago natives and tourists to spend a hot summer day, has been deserted lately. Chicago is experiencing record-setting cold temperatures. The polar vortex that swept through the area pushed temperatures down to minus 32 degrees Celsius in some parts of the city. But officials at the historic Navy Pier decided freezing weather was no reason to ignore the lake shore. So they created a beach inside one of its pavilions. Visitors can go into the large room and immerse themselves in a sea of white plastic balls. 1.1 million antimicrobial translucent balls that are in the pit. The beach was brought to us from our friends at Expo Chicago. This is a creation from the design, collaborative design firm Snarkitecture out of New York. So this is their brainchild. They came to us with this great idea. The unusual beach is drawing cold, weary crowds. It offers 100 lounge chairs, sunshades, and the obligatory lifeguard towers. The bubbly beach inside stands in stark contrast to the sparkling snow and brutal cold outside. The beach is free and appears to offer locals a way to use a lot of stored energy. With schools closed because of the severe weather, many families are here with children. Well, it's fun. The kids are having a blast. We thought they'd be here for like 10 minutes and we've been here for over an hour. Pretty close. You move and you start to sink. It's almost like real water. It's a pretty good idea. To ensure the conditions are safe, Every evening after closing, Navy Pier staff spray the plastic balls with a special cleaning solution. They say this ensures beachgoers share fun and not cold. Maybe you could even sink. So I think it's great. And right now I'm a little bit panicking because I don't know how I'm going to get out. <laughs> it's a way of introducing art to the kids where they can feel it and experience it. And just like that, with a whole lot of small balls, designers found a way to get people to the beach in Chicago in the dead of winter. For Ekaterina Yelavetska in Chicago, NRI's VOA News.